Hi there, it's Professor Monty. We're looking at a distance application, a word problem, that involves quadratics. Okay, so let's take a look at this problem. It says Amir drives 600 miles home from school, averaging a certain speed or rate. His drive back to school averages 10 miles per hour slower. If the total drive time is 22 hours, find his average speed each way. Okay, the key formula for a distance problem like this is rate times time equals distance. So I'm going to set up a box over here. We'll set up this box something like this. We'll go rate times time equals distance. And we'll make the box fairly big. So it says he drives 600 miles home from school. So let's say from school. He drove 600 miles. And then he goes back to school. Well, if he's driving back from home, that's another 600 miles. We know that distance as well. All right, let's see what else we have. Uh, he's driving from school at a certain speed or a certain rate. We're just going to call that X. And down here, I may even say, oh, X equals rate from school. And you may say rate home, however you want to do that. But since it says from school, I just labeled it that way. Okay, his drive back to school, so to school averages 10 miles per hour slower. Well, if x was his rate from school, and now he's slower, that's x minus 10. And the total drive time is 22 hours. I can't put 22 hours there, I can't put 22 hours there, because it's not, his time from school wasn't 22 hours. His time to school wasn't 22 hours. And we don't know it was 11 each, we know it can't be 11 each, it can't be half, because he's going a different rate. So we're going to use this formula to fill in that box. Always when we set up the box, one of the columns is going to come from the formula. So I've got rate times time equals distance. If I want time, I have to divide by rate. And I get time equals distance divided by rate. Well, I can put in distance divided by rate. So this time is going to be 600 divided by x. This time is going to be distance divided by rate, 600 divided by x minus 10. And now I've got the box filled out. I need my equation. Well, what do they tell us if the total drive time is 22 hours? So here's where my equation is coming from. I'm just going to put that in, in words. Is time from school. plus his time back to school, that's his total time. That's where my equation is going to come from. Where does it come from? Drop straight out of the box. So his time from school, oh, that was 600 over x, plus his time to school, 600 over x minus 10. And his total time, they told us, was 22 hours. That's my equation. So my equation drops right out of the box. I love the box. It helps me set this up a lot. But remember, one of the columns comes from that formula. Now I'm going to solve this. Now, you may know how to solve this, and you just need help setting it up. I'll go ahead and I'll solve it real quick. We're going to need to multiply both sides by the LCD. Well, the LCD can't just be x minus 10, because I can't cancel these x's because of the subtraction. So it has to be x times x minus 10. So I'm going to set it up as x times x minus 10. I'm going to distribute this in so each of these gets one. And this gets one as well. So here the x minus 10s cancel, here the x's cancel. So I'm going to multiply through, I get 600x. So now just do the distributive property, minus 6,000. Plus, over here it's just 600x. Equals, and I'm, I'm looking at this 22x as a certain thing, I'm just going to multiply through there. 22x minus, oh, 22x squared, of course, and then 22x times 10 is 220x. What I have to realize, I have both an x squared and an x, so I'm going to have to set it equal to zero and factor, or use the quadratic formula. So let's see. This is, I can combine these two, those are like terms, that's 1200, so I have 1200x minus 6,000 equals 22x squared minus 220x. 
I need to get Z equal to zero, so I'll subtract the 1200x, add the 6000. And I get 22x squared minus, what's that gonna be, 1420. X and then plus six thousand. Now, not really nice here. I can divide everything by two to make it a little smaller if I want to, and I get zero equals eleven x squared minus seven ten x plus three thousand. I don't want to try to factor that. So I'm just going to use the quadratic formula. So remember, it's x equals negative b plus or minus the square root b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So I get the opposite of negative 710 plus or minus the square root of negative 710 squared minus 4 times 11 times 3,000 all over 2 times 11. And I'm going to use my calculator to help me out here. So I've got x equals positive 710 plus or minus, let's see what that square root is. So it's negative 710 squared. Make sure you square that correctly and get the positive number. It's 504,100, but minus 4 times 11 times 3,000. And I get the square root of 372100 all divided by 22. Now that square root is exactly 610. So I get 710 plus or minus 610 divided by 22. So that's going to give me two answers. So it's 710 minus 610 divided by 22. And 710 plus 610 divided by 22. I'll do those separately. So the first one's 100 divided by 22. Which is 4.5 rounded off miles per hour. Hmm. The other one. 710 plus 610 divided by 22, 60. Now here's the problem, here's the issue here. Remember, the rate or the speed from school was x, but x minus 10 was the rate to school. Well, if I have about 4.5 miles to school, 4.5 minus 10 is a negative about 5.5 miles per hour. This one can't work because it makes me have a negative rate. Obviously, I'm not going to get to where I'm going if I'm driving backwards the opposite direction. So 60 is the only answer that really works. So x is 60 and x minus 10, 60 minus 10, 50 miles per hour. So the rate from school, 60. The rate back to school, 50 miles an hour. A lot going on there. I think the setup here is really going to help you out. Try that out. Use these. This one, not a nice one. Quadratic formula helps us get to the answer. But I realize these take a little bit of work. But practice them. The more you do, obviously, the better you'll get. And the quicker this will become.